Okay guys, we're going to be working on the action script now. So what we're going to do is going to go to frame one of the actions layer. I'm going to right click it and we're going to click, go to the bottom and click on actions. Okay, what that will now open up is the action script window. So we're going to start working action script window now. And we're going to start entering our action script. So first thing we're going to do is click stop. All in lowercase, open bracket, close bracket and then a semicolon. Okay, what this guy does now it stops the movie so you know as before it was flickering through each of the stages so what, what it's just going to do now is just stop and not do anything and not go through each page one by one okay now we're going to start creating a function so we're going to name it we're going to create four functions so each page uh, the function is going to have instruction of what you want that or what you want to happen Okay, so just like in spreadsheets where you have a macro, where you record a macro, you record a set of instructions, then you assign that macro to a button, and then that when you click on that button, it does whatever you told that macro to do. So similar to that, in ActionScript, we're going to create a function, and we're going to assign that function to one of those buttons, so when you click on that button, it does, it runs that function, it basically, like in other words, runs that macro. So obviously, we're going to write function, because we're telling the ActionScript that we're creating a function, and we're going to give the function a name. So I'm going to call it home underscore click. So, underscore. Okay, so home underscore click. So that's the name of my function now. So now I'm going to start writing what I want home underscore click to do. So I'm going to open bracket. Notice I've not put any spaces in. So you don't need to put spaces in after, after the clicked. Okay. Um, e. Okay. Uh, colon so that's dot dot the two dots not the dot and the comma colon capital M for mouse and capital E for event okay so now you tell it this um, you telling action script that this function is going to be a mouse event so something is going to happen when you click on mouse event notice that this import flash dot events mouse event comes in so basically it's importing all the mouse event le action script in so that's what it's telling uh, flash. Okay, do not you don't you do not need to type this in. This will automatically appear once you started your function. Okay, so once you clicked on mouse event, you're gonna click on colon again and type void. Then you're gonna have an open curly brace and you're gonna push enter. So now you've named this mouse event a uh, home underscore clicked. Okay, now when you, in between the two curly braces, you need to write what you want to happen. So I want to go to and stop at frame number one and then close bracket and then followed by a semicolon. All programs usually have a semicolon at the end. So what this does is tells when you click on the button, okay, this action script where it's at frame one at the moment, what it'll do is go to where no matter where it is on the page. So let's just say it's on frame five. Okay, let's just say you were on frame five of your flash. Okay, what it'll do, it'll go to frame one. Okay, and that's what will happen. So what you need to do now is copy this function four additional times because you've got four, three, four buttons in total. So you're actually gonna, sorry, my mistake. You're gonna copy it three additional times. One, two, three. So from the word function to the end of the curly brace, copy that four times. Okay, what you're gonna do now, where it says home, you're gonna change that and you're gonna call this about us because that's the next button you have. Okay, so where it says home again, about us, then you're going to change this to gallery. And you're going to change the home button again, the fourth one, which is the contact us page, you're going to change to contact us. Okay, what we also need to change is the frame. Okay, so the home button is obviously on frame one. About us is on frame two. Gallery is obviously on frame three. And the contact us is on frame four. Okay, now you've created your four functions. What you now need to do is assign these functions to a button. Okay, so just like in for spreadsheets, you assign a macro to a button. Here we're going to assign a function to a button. So what we need to do is we need to remember what we named our uh, buttons. So if I go back to it, use the selection tool, home, I call that home. About us, I call it about, capital U, and an S. Gallery, I call gallery and contact us. Once again, contact us. Okay, so when you go back to our action script, oops. Okay, now I start writing the action script for this button. So home was called home. Okay, so I'm gonna write home dot. 
So now on the home button, I want to add an event a listener. Okay, so I want to add an event to that button. Notice that if you spell it correctly, it should go blue. I want to add an event listener. Okay, I want to make it a mouse event. So mouse event. And that mouse event will be a click. So on a click. No, if you look at the different other strings, you've got a double click, mouse down, mouse move up. Okay, so if you do any of these on that button, it will set uh, run that functions. But I want it on click. So when the mouse clicks, I want it to run home clicked. So what it will do when you click on the home button, it will go to frame one. Okay, so mouse dot click, comma, and the name of the function you want to assign it to. So this function I called home underscore click. So home underscore clicked. And then once I've done that, then close bracket and then a comma. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to copy this three additional times because I've got four buttons in total. Free paste. Okay, and what I'm going to do is change the home to about us. Third one to gallery. Make sure it's a capital G because that's what I did originally. And the final one contact us okay once I've done that I need to make sure I change it here as well so first one I've called about us I'm just gonna copy that to make sure that I get it correct call that about us this one I've called gallery underscore click so copy that gallery underscore click and the final one contact us underscore click I'm gonna paste that contact us underscore click once I've done that, what I'll do is press Control Enter, and hopefully if I've done it all correct, if I click on About Us, it will go to About Us page, Gallery, Contact Us. So that's my website now complete. Okay, now you're probably thinking it doesn't look anything like a website. So what you need to do is basically, once we've completed everything, so now that it's working, we know it's working, what you need to do is you need to go to File, Publish Settings. Okay, so what we're going to make sure we do, where it says HTML Wrapper, make sure that it's checked. Also. What I want you to do is click on Win Projector as well. I'll tell you in a bit why I'm doing that. So you're going to go to HTML Wrapper, and then you're going to click on the folder, and you're going to make sure you're in the correct folder. So I'm going to go to my National Diploma uh, Unit, sorry, 43 folder. I'm going to go to call it Testing Website, and I'm going to call this. Oh no, actually, let's make another folder. I'm going to call it Tutorial. Okay, I'm going to go to tutorial folder. I'm going to call this practice website. Okay, I'm going to click save. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with the wind projector. Go to the folder, call this practice website. Make sure I'm in the correct folder. Okay, press save. Okay, uh, once I've done that, so same with the shockwave file, make sure it's in the correct folder. Practice website. Okay, once I've done that and I'm happy, I'm going to click on publish. Okay, so what this is now going to do is going to publish that website. Okay, also, what I haven't done is saved my actual Flash document. So I need to save that as well. So save as tutorial, and I'm going to call it, once again, practice website. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to save it. Now, if I look at my folder, if I go to my a folder, 43, tutorial, I'll see four different files. So now if I click on the HTML file, okay, I'm going to open it up. Don't want that as a default. Okay, allow block content. You see, that's my website there. So now it's an official website. So as you can see, website working. Now all that's left to do, which you can do, is fill in the section in the middle with some content. So create your gallery, put a contact us page, put some information about yourself and something on the home page, put some images in, and that's your website complete. Note that it's only one document there, so like unlike with Expression Web where you had to create multiple files just to make it work, with Flash it's just one file. And previously I showed you about um, the exe file. Well this is a Windows project uh, file which is this. All it is is basically, you know when you have your CD-ROMs or you have your application files or when you get a printer and you have you put that CD in and it comes out with a software. Well, that's what it is. This is an EXE file. 
that's how you create and use it. Um, so you've actually, not only have you created a website, mm -hmm. created a Shockwave movie, created a Flash document, but you've also include, created an XE or an application file. So if you were to create a program, like some drivers or something for anything, this is how you would do it using Flash. Okay, so thanks for watching my tutorial, guys, and hopefully your websites will look amazing when you do them.